In honor of Ding Li Ren becoming world chess champion, I thought it would be fitting to look at Ding's immortal match, according to chess.com. Let's get into the match. Ding is playing with the black pieces against Bai Jinxi. Book move after book move. Normal stuff for the grandmaster level, not at my level. I don't even know if I can do one book move. And finally, a non-book move, striking in the center. Attack the queen while simultaneously developing a knight. Interesting. Are you not supposed to push pawns in front of a castled king? Ding just did so. Strike in the center. And here we go again. Another pawn push in front of a castled king. I thought that this would have, you know, altered the eval bar in white's favor, but did not do so. Shuffling the pieces. The one and only inaccuracy for Ding during the whole match. A miss after miss, right? Did Ding just give up the queen? Yep. But there's a discovered check that allows Ding to take full control of the open file. And even though Ding is down one point, soon going to be two points in material, the eval bar is minus 3.4. Great move after great move. Ah, the first brilliant move of the game. Why is this brilliant? Well, what happens if there's a capture on d4? Well, you're going to lose the queen, right? Check, and another check, and you're just going to be down a material with the white pieces, so that doesn't happen. But also, this is brilliant because... There's a second threat, which is mate, right? If you can have control of the g4 square, you can mate the white king, right? It can't escape. It's entombed. Bai notices that, wants to add a defender to the g4 square. Still, Ding goes for the second brilliant move in a row, adding pressure to that g same g4 square. Goes forward, and... This king is just kind of having to get out of the way. Another brilliant move. Why isn't brilliant? Well, what happens if white takes the rook? Similar thing. You're going to lose the queen, right? So instead of taking, white evades um, the threat. This king is just going down the left-hand side of the board. And Ding takes control of h6, g6, and f6, making sure that that king can't move. Slides out of check. Now here, you know, can can white just take the rook? No, because there's just going to be mate. So what can white do? Ask for a trade? Nope. This is just uh, interesting stuff, right? There's a check. Nothing you can really do about it but take that pawn. And here we have a check. But look at this. There's just nothing you can do. It's going to be mate. And there it is. There's nothing you can do. I mean, sure, you can block with the bishop, but that is mate. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video enough to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Other than that, have a great day.